I made a song called Senga and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Hey guys, today is the fourth and final episode of my four part mini series about the four songs on my EP Send Me Your Daughter from last year. As I've mentioned, I wrote, performed, produced, and released the music myself under the moniker Galeriet. And if you're curious about the kind of setup I used to make the music, I touch on that briefly in the first episode of the series. Now, the song I'd like to talk about today is the opening track of the EP called Senga. Out of the four songs on the EP, Senga is the first one I wrote. And it's the one that got me thinking that there was probably more where that came from and that it seemed I was ready to sit down and create a new series of songs. And that's what ultimately resulted in the EP, Send Me Your Daughter. The song takes its name from artist Senga Nengudi. Senga Nengudi is a visual artist who was born in Chicago in 1943. She was part of the radical avant-garde black art scenes of New York and Los Angeles in the 1960s and 70s. She's best known for her abstract sculptures, which combine found objects with choreographed performance specifically her series of performance objects from 1975 called RSVP. Following the birth of her son and seeing the changes in her body, then Goody began work on her RSVP series. In it, she combined her interest in sculpture and movement by creating abstract sculptures of everyday objects brought to life with movement and choreography, sometimes in front of a live audience and sometimes captured on camera. The sculptures often featured pantyhose, which were stretched and twisted and knotted and filled with sand. The finished sculptures were often hung on the gallery walls and then stretched out across the gallery space, evoking the forms of bodily organs, sagging breasts, or a mother's womb. For Nangudi, the use of pantyhose as a material reflected the elasticity of the human body, especially the female body. And these sculptures, along with her later performance pieces also involving pantyhose, expressed a mixture of sensuality, racial identity, body image, and societal impacts on women's bodies. Those tightly stretched pantyhose and the spirit of the RSVP series directly informed the first lines of my song. The song itself was shaped around that funky bass line that plays throughout the track. That bass line then informed the glittery synths that I added that I feel give the song an air of 70s roller disco and then I juxtapose that with some 80s drum beats. My vocals on this song have been described as operatic, which I quite like. Bleeding and breathing under your hey. The circle has closed and I'm not in. I'm not in. A prevailing theme in Senga is that nagging need and struggle to get ahead, to achieve, to succeed, and that ongoing battle for our self-acceptance, always going for that carrot that's just out of reach. You'll see plenty of carrots and that theme of struggle appearing again and again in different ways in the music video for the song. That video also features a lot of pieces that either already have or will soon be getting an episode of their own on here, so keep your eyes peeled for that. To hear Senga in its entirety, to read the full lyrics, and to watch the music video, check out the info in the description below. And that's something I made. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.